What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a new series on the channel. Yes, we are going to be straying away from FNAF a little bit and we're going to be diving into a completely different series. And while I'm sure FNAF is very different to Gravity Falls, I am very excited to get into Gravity Falls because I've heard there is a lot of like secret lore and codes hidden and stuff like that. I don't know too much about it. I'm just really excited to get into it. So a little bit of background. I think I've watched one episode uh, of Gravity Falls, but that was like two years ago. Um, so I haven't really seen anything from this series, to be honest. And uh, I'm really excited to get into it because of the things that I've been hearing. I've heard recently um, there's been an uprise in it because of a release of a book. I think it's called Book of Bill. Um, and so I'm really interested to get into this so that we can get all the way up to that point. I'm hoping to make reactions to both series that are up right now. And I'm hoping to do uh, a read through of the book maybe as well. Um, we'll see where it, where it takes us. But uh, I'm really excited to get straight into Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 1. Let's get straight into it. Just before we get started, I also forgot to mention that this is going to be a cut version of the reaction. If you want the full uncut reaction, you can become a channel member today for only $1 a month and you can get a link to the full reactions. If you just want to watch along with me, I think that, that would be pretty chill. Um, so if you want to do that, then you can become a channel member today. Thank you! Unless you're me. I love this animation style. It's it's really beautiful. My name is Dipper. The girl about to puke is my sister Mabel. <laughs> you may be wondering what we're doing in a golf cart, fleeing from a creature of unimaginable horror. There's a perfectly logical explanation. <laughs> okay, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, yes. The animation is just so cute. I love it. Why did it say what? Oh, yeah, it's good to note that because I'm a FNAF theorist, of course, I'm going to be trying to point out anything and everything that I see. Um, so, it, yeah, I, I think I'm going to try and point out as much as possible. There was a single frame there that I need to go back to at the end. This attic is amazing. Check out all my splinters. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! Oh, Mabel is so cute. <laughs> and then there was our great uncle Stan. That guy. Great Uncle Stan, okay. Uh, do you like me? Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> She's my favorite character so far. She's absolutely insane. Take me with you. <laughs> See, usually this is me. On the on the borderline of creepy. I need someone to go hammer up these signs in a spooky part of the forest. Also not it. Nobody asked you, Zeus. I know, and I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, interesting. So it seems like there's going to be something mysterious in Gravity Falls. Okay. Oh, I think I've seen that online somewhere. Isn't there like a real version of that? Floating eyeballs, gnomes, cursed doors. Interesting. So who is that book written by? That's my question. Hmm. Who's that? Well, time to spill the beans. Rope. <laughs> Such a stupid joke. I guess I'm just irresistible. <laughs> <laughs> she is my favorite. She's so funny. Oh, I was just catching up on uh, Gold Chains for Old Men magazine. <laughs> That's a good issue. That's a good issue. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, normal. Man. He means Norman. Are you bleeding, Norman? Normal man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wait up. Is she the same voice actor? Oh my gosh. She's the same voice actor that voiced Sarah Lynn in Bojack, I think. Beware, Gravity Falls is nefarious. <gasps> ah, okay. Sup? I am needed elsewhere. I love Zeus. <laughs> so funny. The characterizations are really good in this so far. Guessing practice. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, he's brought out the book. Might be 
be a vampire? That would be so awesome! Guess again, sister. Shabam! No. Oh, wait. I'm, so I'm sorry. Shabam! Oh. Why is there a big three on the front of the book? Zeus is right. <laughs> I don't have any real... Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. You can tell me anything. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was gnomes all along. I'm sorry. I always forget your name. Schmebulock. Schmebulock. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'll never forget you, Mabel. Because we're gonna kidnap you. <laughs> oh my gosh. This show is so good so far. <laughs> Genuinely really enjoying. Assemble! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many of them. <laughs> oh, that's the monster from the beginning. Alright, teamwork guys, like we practiced. <laughs> this is so well animated. Shmebula, for God's sake. The world's most distracting object. <gasps> Just try to look away. You can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Wait, that's so funny. Because she was orig originally going to kiss that. So that's how she learned. You'll get hit by a bus or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love Grunkle, you're so funny. This seems like a cool place to be fair. Grappling hook! Is that a Legend of Zelda reference? <laughs> but who knows what other secrets are waiting to be unlocked. Oh! That was a, an interesting first episode. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. He's just gonna keep doing that, isn't he? Ooh! Oh, interesting. Okay, so, of course, after that first episode, like, that was really good. That was a really good intro to the series. I think I have a few questions, and I don't want people in the in the comments to answer if you uh, know the answer. But uh, first of all, I want to know who wrote that book, because um, it seems like other people may have been here before, and they have met their demise here. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering, like, what, what is the past of this place and why is it full of, um, these mythical creatures? I'm, I'm assuming for the rest of the series we're going to see a lot of different creatures. Maybe we'll, we'll, we will come across a vampire and stuff. Um, so who wrote that book? That's interesting. Um, and then also I, I really, I just really love, like, the foreshadowing in this. As I said before, the leaf blower, she was, like, originally trying to use as like a method to practice kissing. And then later on, she uses it uh, against the gnome and saying like, uh, you may kiss the bride and then, yeah. Um, so I think that's that's quite, that's really clever. And I think I think what this TV series is going to show me as, is that it's just really clever. It's just on another level, right? Uh, and, I, and I really like it so far. So what is uh, Grunkle hiding? in this supposed basement behind the uh, the vending machine. I guess we're gonna find out as well. That's that's interesting. It seems like he is, um, he knows something that we don't. So that's very interesting. I think we should move on to episode number two. Oh, actually, before we do that, I actually wanna see the intro because I believe there was a, a hidden uh, frame in the intro and it was like a, it was a single frame that was after the title card yeah there it is so what is this um first of all top right i see some matrices that's a, a mathematical thing so you could actually multiply those matrices across because they're the same um they have the same amount of rows and columns you can actually multiply those together and it seems like there's one uh, constant matrix as well, like a uh, vector. Um, so that's 
strange. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I would see some complex mathematics in here, but that's that's strange. There also seems to be some sort of like diagram in the top left, maybe some binary um, all around. And then in the middle, we have uh, this triangle guy. I believe, I might be wrong in saying this, but I believe this is Bill Cipher. I've, I've heard people talk about Bill Cipher before, and I know that he's from this show. So maybe we'll learn more about him. And then around him, we have sort of, this reminds me of like horoscopes, kind of like astrology. Um, maybe Bill Cipher is like a god or something but I don't really know how that might fit in with with Gravity Falls. Um, so interesting. And then right at the very end, during the credits, there seems to be a code. I really want to know what that code means. You know what? I can probably figure it out. Okay, I've got my trusty notepad and we have a Z H O F. So immediately what I'm thinking is this has to be um, a, one of those codes where you have to shift the letters. Um, what do I shift it to? That's a, a good question. Uh, it can't be one up because that would make it A, I. It can't be one down because that would make it Y, G. Hmm. Okay. Let me, let me think about this. Aha! Okay. I think I have it. Um, so I think it's, I think it's Welcome to Gravity Falls. Um, and the reason I'm saying that three down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've done this. I don't know if you can see that. Basically, there's there's one solution out of 26 uh, that seems to make a word in the f uh, as the first word, and it's welcome. And then I'm looking at the other letters, and I'm thinking welcome to, and then the other the other two have has to be gravity falls, right? Because of the two O's. I'm assuming that's um, going to be two L's because O M. O-N-M-L. Yes, yeah. It's going to be Welcome to Gravity Falls. Interesting. So that's how you solve that puzzle. I wonder if that's going to be at the end of every episode. All right, episode two, The Legend of the Gobble Wonka. Whatever that means. <laughs> human-sized hamster balls? <gasps> I'm human-sized! <laughs> Grunkle Stan, is this going to be anything like our last family bonding day? You call that Ben Franklin? He looks like a woman! <laughs> Are they printing money? Oh my gosh. I can see with my fingers. <laughs> Mabel, oh you my gosh. A blindfold? <laughs> nah, but with these cataracts, I might as well be. What is that, a woodpecker? <laughs> uh. It's fishing season. Fishing day, okay. So they're gonna see the Loch Ness monster or something like that. I brought the joke book. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> calm down. Oh, you're doing a happy jig. No, it's a jig of grave danger. Something's telling me he's not crazy. Old dude said, "Ah, oh, donkey spittle." The other thing. <laughs> Oh, Mabel. 50 50. <gasps> That's two 50s. <laughs> she is cracking me up with every line. <laughs> <laughs> Love the callbacks. Hey, boys. You can look. <laughs> what? But you can't it's just a completely different animation <laughs> style. <laughs> Your kids could go waste your time on some epic monster-finding adventure, or you could spend the day learning how to tie knots and skewer worms with your great uncle Stan. That's a hard decision. Oh, okay, it's, it's not a hard decision anymore. Ooh, ooh, competition. Yeah, get on Seuss's boat. Oh, I do feel a bit bad for him. This is We're epic. I love like the 3D animations of the vehicles. That's why I bought 17 disposable cameras. Yeah, you need to get the evidence. Oh, no. You see? <laughs> there goes one. Oh, ah, bird. 15. <laughs> They're going to lose all of them. Permission to taste some? Granted. Permission co-granted. Permission associate co-granted. 
<laughs> I love, I love it. My name is Mabel. It rhymes with table. It also rhymes with label. It also rhymes with schmabel. Dude, we should be writing this down. <laughs> Dude, we should be writing this down. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that was adorable. What's wrong with you guys? Dipper? It's not that hard. Oh my right? gosh. What you gotta do is point and shoot like this. That's giant. That's horrifying. I hate sea monsters and stuff. Why are you throwing the cameras? What? I feel like one of my personalities is Mabel and one of them is Dipper. I swear. Pop, pop. Oh, of course they look exactly like them. I love you. Oh, come on! <laughs> I do feel bad for him in some ways. We're still beavers? Okay. Okay. <gasps> They are adorable. Wait, 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 wait. I just put together. He had the fish in a headlock. <laughs> How do you have a fish in a headlock? Easy. I love the cutaway. Oh, what are they doing? Why are they trying to get glass across a, a lake? <laughs> nice. Oh, interesting. <laughs> ah, okay. I just wanted attention. <laughs> I guess the real like monster is you two. <laughs> Sorry, I just like boom, just popped into my head there. <laughs> oh, Seuss. Oh. <sighs> Well, he's been put on house arrest in a boat. Dude, am I on the frame? Oh, that's great. Oh, oh, I'm gonna cry. This is so adorable. Let me guess, there is still a real monster. Oh my god, of course there is. Wow. What an ending. <laughs> oh, another code. Another code. Okay, that was great. That was a great episode. What I'm really liking about this is, is there's a lot of callbacks and uh, it, it's a really smart show, I think. Um, I think the fact that there is um, access to technology like that big mechanical dinosaur kind of means that um, there could be a lot more around in Gravity Falls that we aren't seeing yet, right? There's there's probably a lot more secrets around. There is a, a giant monster in the lake still that supposedly nobody has really seen. Um, so that's that's also interesting, but that's probably still part of like the mythology that we, we saw with Dipper in the book. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed that episode actually. Yeah, I, I think I said halfway through, but I, I, I really think that I am a cross between Dipper and Mabel. I think uh, half the time I am kind of like, oh, for goodness sake, why, why, <laughs> why am I here with everybody? Like, everybody's so stupid. Um, but on the other hand, I'm also just really dumb in moments. <laughs> I am a Mabel. I am a Mabel. Um, I can relate to her quite a lot. Let's go back to that secret code and I want to work this one out too. I wonder if it's going to be the same uh, letter cipher, as in like the same number of letters that we shift, or if it's going to be something different every time. Let's have a look. Q, H, A, W, Z, H, H, N, W, R. This one's a long one. L, V, O, D, Q, G. 
Okay, let me figure this out. Ooh, I know that the first word is next. Uh, I don't know what that means for the rest of the phrase because we have a double H in the second word. Uh, and the H is E. So that would be next something E E. So it'd be N uh, Q R S T. Wait, no, 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 no. N O P Q. So it's three letters behind. Oh, it's the same. It's the same cipher. So it's three letters behind, so it's going to be W, K. So it's next week, and then it will be... Okay, let me figure the rest of this out. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I <laughs> I got one of the letters wrong, but it is... Uh, it's next week, return to Butt Island. Interesting. Uh, does that mean... Does that mean next episode we're going to be back at Butt Island, or...? I don't know what that means, really. Not sure what that means, because obviously the, in the first episode it was um, Welcome to Gravity Falls. So that's like quite obvious, like, first episode, Welcome to Gravity Falls, Welcome to Gravity Falls as a place, and Welcome to Gravity Falls as a show. Uh, and then this episode, next week, returned to Butt Island, and obviously we explored Butt Island in this episode, or Butt Island. Um, but like... But what does that mean that we're going to return to Butt Island? I, I wonder. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy these reactions, then make sure you like and subscribe so you can see more. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.